Yes. Uh, so every now and then she brings us a collection of stories from the week in a little segment she likes to call Two Minutes of Mayhem. Two Minutes of Mayhem. A South Carolina woman opened her door Sunday night to an unwelcome house guest. I thought I disappeared. Shatrina Greenwood found the alligator whom she named Alex Bobby sitting on her front porch. At first she thought her yellow lab was bumping up against the wall. When she opened the door, she started screaming bloody murder and called 911. They called the Department of National Resources who called the snake chaser a local expert in wildlife removal. Russell Cavender arrived. He started to wrangle, wrangle the gator. After an hour of coaxing, Cavender got the animal inside the truck. He believes that the gator was chased out of the water by an even bigger gator and arrived at Greenwood's doorstep seeking shelter. Cavender says Alex Bobby is now in a safe location. Well, here's something we hope you don't see every day, if at all an alligator foot sticking out of an ashtray of a truck in Go Figure, Florida. Uh, the photo was taken in the Florida Fish and Wildlife officers. In addition to the foot, other gator parts were scattered inside the truck. Okay, this looks so creepy. At first, the driver said the remains came from a gator he hunted a few years ago, but eventually the truth came out and the driver admitted to killing the gator without a permit just a few days ago. In case you didn't know, you know, just as a point of reference in Florida, alligator hunting is only allowed from August 15th to November 1st, and you must have a permit. Just giving you that little FYI. Well, anytime I can say two bearded dragon, I will be two headed bearded dragon. I will be a happy camper. The owner of the world's largest collection of two headed animals just added another delicious beast. Todd Ray didn't think twice when he had a chance to add a two headed bearded dragon, say that 10 times fast, to his multi headed troop. It was born about a year ago. Go in China. Ray displays many of his creatures at the Venice Beach Freak Show in Los Angeles. That doesn't say freak code. I don't know what I it don't does. Know what does. And that's it. I disappeared. Oh, ding. And I'm gone. All right. Next hour, we're back at the Beta Breakers Race in San Francisco, checking out all the.